Hitling's prototype. <clears throat> when we last left off, we had to deal with doing quaternion rotations, which I still am not quite sure what to do about that. So I think what I'd like to do is let's scale it back a little bit. I only want to test rotating forward and rotating right. And I think if we can get those two things working, then, um, you know, expanding it to have the rotating left and rotating towards the camera should be fine. This is my cat Thunderbutt. She's going to be co-starring in this episode, as she always does. Hmm. Okay, so... Here's our rotate code. So I tried just passing the direction that I want... Oh. Maybe it was working. Let's do solid 90 on each of these. I don't think this is going to work, but it's worth a shot. Nothing. That's a little bit strange. Let's throw a print in here. Okay, so it is getting in here. I was trying to use this quaternion from two rotation, but that doesn't seem to be working. Creates a rotation which rotates from direction to direction. I mean, maybe, maybe we could just pass this as a vector three dot up. I don't think I need to multiply by degrees. So rotating from world up to the world direction, whichever one the user pressed. <laughs> Whoa, boy, <laughs> that's definitely wrong. We should be rotating one axis at a time. Okay, okay. So let's apply this rotation to the start rotation by using the multiply operator. It's important to remember that the multiply operator when you're dealing with quaternions is what's called non-commutative. So in quaternion land, A times B does not equal B times A. Thunderbutt, what are you doing over there? Hey, oh, come on. She's destroying my frog shrine. Cats. Too cute. Right, so non-commutative. The order in which we multiply these is important. In fact, I might have done this backwards, so we're gonna try flipping it if it doesn't work. Okay. Nope, still didn't work. Dang it. So right, it's still always rotating it to the right local space. I want to rotate it to the right in world space. Set from to rotation. Oh, that's useful. Basically, don't ever modify W, X, Y, and Z unless you are a very strong mathy person 
and you truly understand what Quaternions are doing. Otherwise, the results are just going to be garbage almost immediately. <sighs> Let's maybe hop over to drawing board. And of course my drawing pen is gone. What have you done with that, Thunderbutt? Oh, Jeez, this lady. So, we have a cube and we're looking at it and it's sort of like, we're looking down on it. And it's got its, this is its Z, this is its X, oh my, and then this is its Y. So going upwards is Y and unity. So, let's see, the Quaternion is a rotation. I essentially, if I press W, I want to rotate it 90 degrees around the X. And there is a little bit of a problem because So in Unity, the transform class, if we say transform x equals y, that means that x just references y. It's not a copy of the transform. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, maybe I'll make a temporary transform, manually copy the data over, and then just call transform.rotate. This is definitely not the correct solution. Well, it's a solution, but I know that there is a way dealing with quaternions. But let's get it working first, and then we can do some inspection debug, look at the variables, and see what the heck is going on. Wow. Inaccessible due to its protection level. Well, we could hack this even further. The cube controller is its own object, right? So I can say this transform rotation, referring to the game object that the cube controller is attached to. I'll copy over the start rotation data. And then I can take that I don't know, just transform dot rotate. I want to just be direction times degrees. And then I could take this transform and multiply it. Oh boy. by the start rotation to get our target rotation. And then finally, we can restore the controller's rotation. Um, we just make a big note here. Or this is even a hack, actually. This will not work if multi- Oh, oh, this should work. Never mind. Haha! -ha. I love it when that happens. Being wrong can be very cool.
And the default rotation, meaning that it's 0, 0, 0, essentially, is called quaternion.identity. So our direction, I don't know if that's right. We might have to change that. Ugh. It's so weird. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. What is happening here? <clears throat> I copy the selected cube's rotation. What other options for this? Axis and then angle. So I believe that this should be a little bit better. I had... That was up. Down does nothing. Oh dear. How about right? Left does nothing. What is happening here? Let's try a vector 3 cross product. Now the cross product is what you use when you're trying to get a vector that is perpendicular to two other vectors. Oh, hey, to the right worked. Left still doesn't work. Right goes crazy. Now right doesn't work. Now left spins to the right again. Let's try forward negative 90 and right negative 90. Right? Left still doesn't work. What is happening here? That's crazy, Thunderbutt. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a moment, do some research, and uh, when I return, hopefully we'll have figured this out. Or at least we'll continue to figure it out. <laughs> 